dear students good morning today we start properties of triangles in 1a as the name indicates properties of triangles we discuss different properties of triangles here we start doing problems from easier to a little difficult problems so first we start doing easier problems let us see we are doing exercise b and these are very important problems in many of uh, the public examinations they ask uh, this model if a equal to 13 b equal to 14 c equal to 15 then find the values of small r r1 r2 r3 and capital r what are all these a b c and small r r1 r2 r3 and capital r what are all these let us recollect what are these c capital a b c means angles this is a triangle a b c capital a b c are angles so we denote capital letters using angles so this is angle a this is angle b this is angle c what are small a b c small a b c are the side opposite to capital a is small a the side opposite to angle b is small b the side opposite to angle c is small c which means small a is the side bc and small b is the side ac ac or ca small c the side ab or ba so in the problem if they give a small a b c means they have given the sides of a triangle what is uh, small r in a triangle if we draw in circle in a triangle if we draw in circle the radius of in circle is small r radius of in circle is small r what do you mean by in circle a circle which is inside the triangle see this is a triangle this is a circle this is not in circle in circle must be inside the circle and it has to touch the sides of three sides of the triangle it has to touch three sides of the triangle so this is not in circle this is in circle because uh, it is inside the triangle and it is uh, touching the three sides of the triangle that circle is called in circle and its radius is in radius in radius so small r means in circle radius in general we call in radius 
Now, what are R1, R2, R3? Small r1. There is a triangle ABC. If an X circle is drawn, X circle in the sense, circle is outside the triangle. Triangle, circle is outside the triangle. And it touch one side of the triangle and two extended sides. See here, this uh, circle is uh, outside the triangle and is uh, touching one side of triangle BC. And the extended sides AB is extended. AC is extended. So, extended sides uh, This uh, X circle is touching one side of triangle and two extended sides of the triangle. And it is opposite to the vertex A. Opposite to the vertex A. So, this uh, circle is called X circle. Its radius is R1, R1, X radius. For A, it is R1. If you draw opposite to vertex B, is called X circle. See here. Triangle A, B, C. This circle is drawn opposite to the vertex B. So, It is uh, touching one side of the triangle and two extended sides. So R2 means uh, X circle radius opposite to vertex B. Similarly, if we draw X circle opposite to vertex C, if you draw here, it is called X circle of uh, opposite vertex C. Its uh, radius is called X radius, that is R3. Capital R. Capital R means here a circle is passing through, a circle is passing through the three vertices of a triangle. Three vertices of a triangle. It has to touch the three vertices. So, circle is outside the triangle which is bigger than the in circle. So, bigger circle is denoted by big letter capital R. Capital R. In circle is a small circle which is denoted by small letter R. So that is the difference between small R and capital R. Small R in size, small number. Big R in size, big number. So capital R is radius of circle which is touching the three vertices of triangle. And uh, delta denotes uh, area of uh, triangle area of triangle. So if they ask find area of triangle means simply how to find delta. And all the formulae are uh, given here. All the formulae are uh, given here. You can uh, go through So, area of triangle, all the formulae are listed here, which are uh, important uh, while doing the problems. So, Let us uh, do the problem. A, B, C 
are given, sides are given, we are supposed to find the values of uh, small r, r1, r2, r3 and big r. Given a 13, b 14, c 15. First of all, we need to find s. s means half perimeter a plus b plus c by 2. S means a plus b plus c by 2. That is 13 plus 14 plus 15 by 2. 42 by 2. By cancellation we get 21. S equal to 21. Why we are finding S here? And why we are finding delta? They are not asked in the problem. Yes. We will answer this at the end of the problem. First, we need to find S that is half perimeter. Now, delta area of triangle root over S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. And uh, we are very much familiar with this uh, formula. This is called Heron's formula. Root over 21 into 21 minus 13 into 21 minus 14 into 21 minus 15. Substitution in the formula. Why we have found S? Because in the delta, you need S value. So, for that purpose, we need to find S. Without S, we cannot find delta. After substitution, the simplification, delta is 21, root over 21. 21 minus 13 is 8. 21 minus 14 is 7. 21 minus 15 is 6. Write the prime product of these numbers 21 using prime numbers 7 into 3 or 3 into 7 8 you cannot write 4 into 2 because 4 is not prime number 4 is not prime number means you have to use these numbers by splitting using the numbers 2 3 5 7, 11, 13. Only with these numbers you have to split. 8. You cannot write 4 into 2 because 4 is not here listed. So you have to write 8 as 2 into 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. 7. Already listed in the numbers. So 7. Directly you can write because 7 is a prime number. So these are all prime numbers. 6. 6 is not listed. You have to split as a product using 2 and 3. So 2, 3 is a 6. Now, 7 how many times? 7 into 7. So 7 square. 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 power 4 into 3 square 3 is are 2 2 times so 3 square you are having a root so root over 7 square so 7 2 power 4 root gets cancelled for 2 times so 2 square 3 square square and root gets cancelled 3 means half number of times you have to write 7 is for 2 times you have to write 1 time 2 is for 4 times, you have to write 2 times. 3 is for 2 times, you have to write 1 time. Because uh, after get, root gets cancelled, you are left by half number of times of each uh, number here. So, delta is equal to 7 into 3, 21 into 4, 84. That is, area of triangle is 84. Now, R1. What is R1? 
delta by s minus a. So, as I said, I shall answer at the end of the problem why you are finding delta and s. Because R1 formula is delta by s minus a. For that, you need delta value and s value. And whereas delta contains s in the formula, so first of all we need to find s value, later the delta. That's why as in the formula of R1 we have s and delta, we need to find s and delta. Just replace delta 84 by s minus a means 21 minus 13. 84 can be written as 7 into 4 into 3 by 21 minus 13 is 8. So if you want to cancel directly, you can cancel. For the convenience, I have written 84, 84 again as 7 into 4 into 3 by 8. So 4 table 1 time, 4 table 2 times. None of the table gets cancelled here. So 7, 3 is 21 by 2. Therefore, R1 value is 21 by 2. Now R2. What is R2? Delta by S minus B. Delta value 84 by S is 21 minus 14. 84 can be written as 7 into 4 into 3 by 7. So 7, 7 cancel. 4, 3 is a 12. Similarly, R, therefore R2 value is 12. R3, delta by S minus C, 84 by 21 minus 15. So, 7 into 4 into 3 by 6, 3 table 2 times, 2 table 2 times, so 7 twos are 14, 3 table 2 times, 2 table 2 times in 4, 7 twos are 14, therefore R3 is 14, capital R, A, B, C by 4 delta, A, B, C by 4 delta, A into B into C by 4 into delta is 84. 84 I have written again as 7 into 4 into 3. If you want to cancel directly, you can cancel. I want to do little uh, in uh, little convenience uh, way. So, 84 written as 7 into 4 into 3. 3 table 5 times. 7 table uh, 2 times. And this is 2 table, 2 times. So, 13 fives are 65, 4 twos are 8. So, we calculated all the values which are asked. Hence, the problem is over.